Peak performance within supercomputing is a constantly moving target, and competition is what makes supercomputing so exciting, continually driving engineers to reach new heights that were unimaginable only a few years ago. To celebrate this amazing technology, let's take a look at the fastest machines in the world. Number 10, Space Shuttle Discovery. Space Shuttle Discovery is one of the orbiters from NASA's Space Shuttle program and the third of five fully operational orbiters to be built. Its first mission, STS-41D, flew from August 30 to September 5, 1984. It was launched over 27 years and landed 39 times, aggregating more space flights than any other spacecraft to date. The Space Shuttle Launch Vehicle has three main components, the Space Shuttle Orbiter, the single-use central fuel tank, and two reusable solid rocket boosters. Nearly 25,000 heat-resistant tiles cover the orbiter to protect it from high temperatures on re-entry. Discovery became the third operational orbiter to enter service, preceded by Columbia and Challenger. It embarked on its final mission, STS-133, on February 24, 2011, and touched down for the last time at Kennedy Space Center on March 9, having spent a cumulative total of nearly a full year in space. Discovery performed both research and International Space Station ISS assembly missions and carried the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit. Discovery was the first operational shuttle to be retired, followed by Endeavour and then Atlantis. The shuttle is now on display at the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center of the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. Number 9. Apollo 10 Apollo 10 was a May 1969 human spaceflight, the fourth crewed mission in the United States Apollo program, and the second, after Apollo 8, to orbit the moon. It was the F mission's dress rehearsal for the first moon landing, testing all the components and procedures just short of actually landing. While astronaut John Young remained in the command mobile orbiting the moon, astronauts Thomas Stafford and Gene Kernan flew the Apollo lunar module, LM, to a descent orbit within 8.4 nautical miles, 15.6 kilometers of the lunar surface, the point where powered descent for landing would begin. After orbiting the moon 31 times, Apollo 10 returned safely to Earth, and its success enabled the first actual landing Apollo 10 two months later. Apollo 10 set the record for the highest speed attained by a crewed vehicle, 39,897 kilometers per hour, 11.08 kilometers per second, or 24,791 miles per hour, on May 26, 1969, during the return from the moon. The mission's call signs were the names of the Peanuts characters Charlie Brown and Snoopy, who became Apollo's 10 semi-official mascots. Peanuts creator Charles Schultz also drew mission-related artwork for NASA. Before we move on, leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be the first watching new episodes. Number 8. AI Bridge Cloud Infrastructure, Japan AI Bridging Cloud Infrastructure, ABCI, is a planned supercomputer built at the University of Tokyo for use in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. It was built by Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology and completed in the first quarter of 2018 with a planned performance of 130 petaflops. Power consumption targeted 3 megawatts and a planned power usage effectiveness of 1.1. In November 2014, it was announced that a 160 petaflop system will be built for 19.5 billion yen, 172.4 to 231.8 million US dollars, with construction to begin in 2017. In October 2017, Fujitsu got the contract to build a 37 petaflop system for 44.3 million US dollars. The design of the ABCI is to be focused on low precision floating points, big data, and artificial intelligence applications, rather than LINPAC performance. Number 7. Thrust SSC Thrust SSC, or Thrust Supersonic Car, is a British jet car developed by Richard Noble, Glenn Bauscher, Ron Ayers, and Jeremy Bliss. Thrust SSC holds the world land speed record, set on 15 October 1997 when it achieved a speed of 1,228 kilometers per hour, 763 miles per hour, and became the first land vehicle to officially break the sound barrier. The car is 16.5 meters, 54 feet long, and 3.7 meters, 12 feet wide, and weighs nearly 10 tons. 
It had a total thrust of 223 kn, approximately 50,000 pounds force, equivalent to around 102,000 brake horsepower at the measured record speed, calculated using power equals force times velocity. Transformed into the usual terms for car mileages based on this speed, the fuel consumption was about 4,851 over 100 kilometers, 0.06 mpg imp, 0.05 mpg US. The thermal power released by burning 18 liters per second of aviation fuel is approximately 630 MW, which means the vehicle was operating at around 12% efficiency at its record speed. Efficiency being the useful working power, 76 MW divided by the thermal power, 630 MW. Number 6. SR-71 Blackbird The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird is a long-range, high-altitude Mach 3 Plus strategic reconnaissance aircraft developed and manufactured by the American aerospace company Lockheed Corporation. It was operated by both the United States Air Force, USAF, and NASA. The SR-71 was developed as a black project from the Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft during the 1960s by Lockheed Skunk Works Division. American aerospace engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson was responsible for many of the aircraft's innovative concepts. The shape of the SR-71 was based on that of the A-12, which was one of the first aircraft to be designed with a reduced radar cross-section. At one point, a bomber variant of the aircraft was under consideration before the program was focused solely on reconnaissance. Number 5. Helios Helios A and Helios B, also known as Helios 1 and Helios 2, are a pair of probes that were launched into heliocentric orbit to study solar processes. As a joint venture of West Germany's space agency DLR 70% share and NASA 30% share, the probes were launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida on December 10, 1974 and January 15, 1976, respectively. As built by the main contractor, Messerschmitt Bolko Blum, they were the first space probes built outside the United States and the Soviet Union to leave Earth's orbit. The probe set a maximum speed record for spacecraft of 252,792 kilometers per hour, 157,078 miles per hour, 70,220 miles per second. Helios B flew 3 million kilometers, 1.9 million miles, closer to the sun than Helios A, achieving perihelion on April 17, 1976, at a record distance of 43.432 million kilometers. 26,987,000 miles, 0 0.29032 AU, closer than the orbit of Mercury. Helios B was sent into orbit 13 months after the launch of Helios A. The Helios space probes completed their primary missions by the early 1980s, but continued to send data up to 1985. Number 4. Voyager 1 Voyager 1 is a space probe that was launched by NASA on September 5, 1977. Part of the Voyager program to study the outer solar system, Voyager 1 was launched 16 days after its twin, Voyager 2. Having operated for 43 years, 4 months and 5 days, the spacecraft still communicates with Deep Space Network to receive routine commands and to transmit data to Earth. As part of the Voyager program, like its sister craft Voyager 2, the spacecraft is an extended mission to locate and study the regions and boundaries of the outer heliosphere and to begin exploring the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space on August 25, 2012, making it the first spacecraft to do so. Two years later, Voyager 1 began experiencing a third tsunami wave of coronal mass ejections from the Sun that has continued to at least December 15, 2014, further confirming that the probe is indeed in interstellar space. Number 3. New Horizons New Horizons is an interplanetary space probe that was launched as a part of NASA's New Frontiers program. Engineered by the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory APL, and the Southwest Research Institute SWRI, with a team led by S. Allen Stern, the spacecraft was launched in 2006 with a primary mission to perform a flyby study of the Pluto system in 2015, and a secondary mission to fly by and study one or more other Kuiper Belt objects KBO, in the decade to follow, which became a mission to 486958 Arrokoth. It is the fifth space probe to achieve the escape velocity needed to leave the solar system. On January 19, 2006, 
New Horizons was launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station by an Atlantis V rocket directly into an Earth and solar escape trajectory with a speed of about 16.26 kilometers per second, 10.10 miles per second, 58,500 kilometers per hour, 36,400 miles per hour. It was the fastest man-made object ever launched from Earth. After a brief encounter with asteroid 132524 APL, New Horizons proceeded to Jupiter, making its closest approach on February 28, 2007, at a distance of 2.3 million kilometers, 1.4 million miles. Most of the post-Jupiter voyage was spent in hibernation mode to preserve onboard systems, except for brief annual checkouts. On December 6, 2014, New Horizons was brought back online for the Pluto encounter, and instrument checkout began. On January 15, 2015, the spacecraft began its approach phase to Pluto. Number 2. Galileo Probe Galileo was an American robotic space probe that studied the planet Jupiter and its moons, as well as several other solar system bodies. Named after the Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei, it consisted of an orbiter and an entry probe. It was delivered into Earth's orbit on October 18, 1989, by space shuttle Atlantis. Galileo arrived at Jupiter on December 7, 1995, after gravitational assist flybys of Venus and Earth, and became the first spacecraft to orbit Jupiter. It launched the first probe into Jupiter, directly measuring its atmosphere. Despite suffering major antenna problems, Galileo achieved the first asteroid flyby of 951 Gaspra and discovered the first asteroid moon, Dactyl, around 243 Ida. In 1994, Galileo observed comet Shoemaker-Levy 9's collision with Jupiter. On September 20, 2003, after 14 years in space and 8 years in the Jovian system, Galileo's mission was terminated by sending it into Jupiter's atmosphere at a speed of over 48 kilometers per second, 30 miles per second, eliminating the possibility of contaminating local moons with terrestrial bacteria. Number 1. North American X-15 With a top speed of 4,520 miles per hour, the North American X-15 was a hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft operated by the United States Air Force and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration as part of the X-Plane series of experimental aircraft. The X-15 set speed and altitude records in the 1960s, reaching the edge of outer space and returning with valuable data used in aircraft and spacecraft design. The X-15's high speed, 4,520 miles per hour, 7,274 kilometers per hour, 2,021 meters per second was achieved in October 1967 when William J. Knight flew at Mach 6.7 at an altitude of 102,100 feet, 31,120 meters, or 19.34 miles. This set the official world record for the highest speed ever recorded by a crewed powered aircraft, which remains unbroken. During the X-15 program, 12 pilots flew a combined 199 flights. Of these, eight pilots flew a combined 13 flights, which met the Air Force spacecraft criterion for exceeding the altitude of 50 miles, 80 kilometers, thus qualifying these pilots as being astronauts. The Air Force pilots qualified for military astronaut wings immediately, while the civilian pilots were eventually awarded NASA astronaut wings in 2005, 35 years after the last X-15 flight. Thanks for watching. Leave the comment down below and let us know what do you think. Don't forget to subscribe for new and upcoming episodes. Episodes. Episodes.